Hey guys, Cole Walker on Lake Quarter Lane. Let's talk about how we rig up a short bus flasher with a crippled herring for landlocked Chinook salmon. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna set up and fish a crippled herring behind a 360 flasher. Let's go over some of the items that we have in front of us today. So we'll start out with the short bus 360 flasher. It's a medium sized blade. We have the fluorescent chartreuse crippled herring helmet, one pin, a herring, a non-slip mooching rig, self-tied if you'd like to learn how to tie this mooching rig i'll put a link in the description below for my previous video on how to tie a non-slip mooching rig these are two-aught hooks with 25 pound mono leader and one snap swivel let's get started so i'm gonna grab the line and feed it through the helmet there's a little slot right down here at the bottom I'm gonna keep feeding the line through until we can grab it back out. Okay, just like this. Here it comes out the top, just like that. Now, this is kind of where it gets tricky. I feed it down through the first eye and then I pull it tight. Then, I grab the line I feed it back up through the same eye out the other side and then pull it tight. So the line actually leaves the first eye that we fed it through and is now just threaded through the second eye. Then I come up to where the pin goes, put the line down through just like so and then we turn it to get a look at it. And then we're gonna feed it through into the front hole to guide the line. Then we're gonna pull it tight. Just like so. Then we're gonna grab our herring. The pink on there is just a little bit of a secret sauce that I concocted. We're gonna stuff it in the helmet. We're gonna grab our pin. We're gonna place the pin straight through the eye. Turn this so I can push it through. Okay, there it goes. And then out through the other side, just like so. So now your herring is locked into the helmet via its eye with the red pin. That's also why I put the line up through there so when I do pin it, it locks that line in place. Allows it just to be a little bit tighter. Okay, so then now hook placement. We're gonna take our first hook. We're gonna run it right down the back of the herring, probably about halfway. Poke it through. And then out the other side, just like so. So the hook's all the way through. Then the rear hook is just gonna dangle. We wanna put about a 45 degree bend in it. Just like so. Attach your snap swivel to it. Hook it to the 360 flasher. Now let's go check out how it did on the water. Hey, what's up guys? Cole Walker, Lake Coeur d'Alene, out here kayak fishing for Landlock Chinook. Just got into a fish. Literally just got my line untangled from around the motor. Nice Chinook.
little butter ball. Hey guys, thanks so much again for tuning in and watching the video. It was a sweet day on the water fishing the 360 flashers with the crippled herring. All the links of these items are going to be in the description below. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, get out there on the water, tight lines. Peace.